Hello, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to set up Mac OS in Windows 7 OS using VNWare. First, download the OS virtual disk file and unlocker from the links given in the description. Then download VMware Workstation version 12. I already downloaded the files and extracted in my PC. First, we have to install VMware in our computer. For that, double-click on the setup file. Then click on the next button. Then, accept the terms and license agreement, and click next button. Then click on the next button. Uncheck the checkboxes, and click on the next button. Then click on the next button. Finally, click on the install button, to install VMware. Click on the license button, to enter the license key. I already have a license key with me. Copy the license key, and paste in the installation window. Then click enter button. Then click finish button. That's all, the installation of VMware is completed. Double click on the VMware icon in desktop, to open it. Here, we can create a new virtual machine, using the first option. Then click, next. Then select, I will install OS later option and click next. Here, we can select the OS version. But we can see that, Mac OS is not available in the menu. We have to unlock it using the unlocker tool. Open the folder where we downloaded and extracted the unlocker tool. Then run, winInstall.cmd file as administrator. It will patch the VMware software. We have to set up Mac OS using the virtual disk file, downloaded from the link, which is shown here. For that, open the VMware software. Click on Create New Virtual Machine option. Then click Next button. Then select, I will install OS later option and click Next. Now we can see that, the Mac OS option is available here. Select Apple Mac OS option, and select OS X 10.11 as version. Then click Next button. Click Next. Then click Next, finally click Finish. Now, edit the configuration of our virtual machine. Here I increase the RAM to 2.6 GB. Then remove the hard disk from it. Then click Add button. Then select Hard Disk and click Next. Then click Next. Then click Next. Here select, Use Existing Virtual Disk option, and click Next. Here. Browse the path of downloaded virtual disk file and select it. Then click Finish. Click the Keep Existing Format. Now click the Expand button, to increase the storage space. Change it to 100 GB, and click Expand button. It will take some time to expand the disk. Now the disk is expanded to 100 GB. Then click OK button. The configuration are completed. Click OK button. Now, close the VMware. We need to do one more additional configuration. For that, open the location where we saved our virtual machine files. Here, open the file with extension VMX, in text editor. At the end of this file, type, smc.version equals zero. Then save and close the file. That's all. Now, the settings are completed. Open the VMware, and run our virtual machine for Mac OS. Now, we can see that, the Mac operating system is booting, in the virtual machine. Like any other OS installation, here also we need to do some configuration for operating system, like time, username, keyboard layout settings etc. Here, select the option United States, and click continue. In this window, select US as keyboard layout, and click continue button. Here, select the option. Don't transfer any information now, and click Continue button. Here, click Continue, and click Don't Use button. Here, select Don't Sign In option, and click Continue button. Then click Skip in the dialog box. Then, click Agree in Terms and Conditions, and confirm Agree button. Then, enter, full name, username and password to create a user account, after that, click Continue button. It will take some time to create user account. 
Then, select the required time zone, and click Continue button. Here, uncheck both the options, and click Continue button. Now the settings for Mac OS is completed. Now, you can access the Mac OS in Virtual Machine. Thanks for watching. If you like the content don't forget to like this video. Your support is the most valuable thing for our efforts.